Hi, this is Christine Bowden, AACSLP.com. I am going to show you how to mirror an iPad to your Zoom conference call. And then I'll also show you how to create a pointer for your iPad so that people can see what you're pointing to. So here I am on Zoom. I am going to head over to host a meeting. I'll keep my video off right now. I'm going to open my Zoom meeting. And first I'll show you how I'm going to mirror the iPad. So let me increase it. I'm gonna to go to share screen. And then over here, as you can see, there's a choice of iPhone, iPad. I'm gonna select that and press share. Now this is my network and I need to make sure I have this here. So what I need to do with my iPad is I'm gonna swipe down and I'm gonna to go to screen mirroring. And then as you can see, this number is right here. I'm just gonna select that and right away it's selected. So now my iPad is automatically mirroring to my PC. So that's pretty awesome. The only thing is that when I select something here, if you look over here, milk, you can't really see how I'm getting to where I'm going. So I'd like to show you how I'm going to set up a pointer. So I'm going to move over to the iPad and focus on that right now. First thing I'm gonna do is go into my control panel Control Center, and we need to go to Customize Controls. Usually you don't have as many as, uh, of these open as I do, but I use a lot of them, and they're very useful. This is a useful thing to know about. You can do screen recording as one of the examples, but in this case, we're going to do accessibility shortcuts. That brings it up here. Basically what the control panel is, where the control center is, is when you swipe down, um, this is what it is, the control center. So I just turned on accessibility and that's this icon right here. And what it is here is assistive touch, right? So now this pops up, okay? So that's the assistive touch. But what I wanna do is I don't necessarily just want this, I want the little pointer. The way to get the pointer on is I'm gonna go back in here. Um, I'm going to go to accessibility and here's touch. So here's assistive touch, it's on right now. I'm gonna press that. And what we wanna do, I already created this gesture called pointer, but I'll just show you, I'm gonna create a new gesture. And then all you do is you tap anywhere, just tap. I'm gonna press save, and I'll call this new pointer. New. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back. I'll go to my touch chat page. Um, I already have this up, but if I didn't, right, remember I would just swipe down. Accessibility, it was right there, right? I could turn it off, it's gone. Turn it back on. Now to get the pointer, I go in here, I go to custom. I'm gonna show you both right now. And I go, here's my new pointer, that's the new gesture that I just made. So there it is. This kind of stays around, but it ends up becoming lighter. And now I'm gonna, I'll show you both screens. Whoops, this is the one thing that happens, it does disappear after a little while. So we're gonna go, um, custom, new pointer. So I'm gonna say group. So if you look over here, drinks and I can even move it around. I'm, I'm just dragging my finger. Water. Water. So that's it. Um, that was basically a review of how to mirror your screen uh, within Zoom and also how to set up a pointer on an iPad. 
I hope that was helpful. Thanks.